Hello guys and welcome to another video with Cass on the Misma channel. So today I bring you a very interesting machine that is capable of measuring different pulse lengths. It has a variety of uses uh, and maybe we can do one or two examples. But first let's do a quick demonstration in here. So here's the input. I have a repeater here uh, that I can set to any value. So let's set maybe this to three ticks and I will generate a three tick pulse now. And lamp number three turns on indicating that the pulse was measured as being three ticks long. I can do for four ticks as well, uh, two ticks. And technically we can do one tick, but uh, I will get to that in the end of the video. Uh, something also interesting that we can do with this is to find out uh, how long all of those buttons uh, are, are active for. So for instance, a, uh, a stone button when pressed, uh, it activated the red thing in here. So it's 10 ticks long. Now, now we know that <laughs> because the wiki doesn't exist. Uh, and if we use a wooden button instead, uh, the orange one turns on indicating that uh, this wooden button uh, is 15, uh, 15 ticks long. So this is very interesting. So let's measure all of the buttons, oh, 15 ticks. Oh, 15 ticks again. Are you saying this is 15 ticks? No, I bet this one's going to be different. Okay, 15 ticks. I know, but this one is special. It's not going to be 15 ticks if it's the last. Yes, Mojang just wasted another opportunity of making something useful. Ta-da! Magic revealed. And this is the system, guys. That's all that is to this system. Yeah, bunch of observers, then a piston in there. Yeah. So let's try it once again. Uh, yeah, this this is set on two ticks now. And lamp number two uh, turns on. You can see that I get major lag for using this. Uh, yeah, it's horrible. So I tested this in Minecraft 1.2. 12 and this doesn't happen this is this this major lag happens only in minecraft.1.13.2 you can see the version i'm playing now with optifine by the way yeah so same so yeah if i cover the, these pistons it doesn't happen anymore so yeah really stupid uh and yes let's talk about the one tick pulse so the thing is, uh, every time this piston will move in here, but if you give it a one tick pulse, it will release the block. But if you give it yet another one tick pulse, uh, it will register it correctly. So it means that uh, any pulse that you want to correctly recognize, if you want to go with the full range from one tick pulses all the way to 15 tick pulses, uh, what you can do is to always give it a one tick pulse first and then you give the pulse that you want to read. If it's a one tick pulse, it will work. If it's a three tick pulse, uh, well, first I need to give it a one tick pulse, then three, and uh, it works correctly. Let's try with the button. I don't have a button on me now, but um, yeah, I just didn't include this just to show you how compact it is for most of the things. If you want this specific behavior, you will need to change it yourself. Oh, by the way, I need to still give this guy the Pre one tick pulse, and if you give it the button click, it will so 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 10 tick pulses uh, as expected. So this is very easy to do. I think this could be useful to some people. Uh, and to make it even more useful, uh, you could just add repeaters in here, and then you can take uh, any uh, any pulse that you want from here, one tick pulses or whatever. Uh, I can try to do maybe something interesting in here. Like a T flip flop setup could be interesting. Could be for um, uh, railway stations. Uh, let's try to add maybe what can be read here. Furnace, probably. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll, I will build a little setup here and I will be right back with you. All right, so here's another example. Yeah, once you click the button, a block is placed in front of the furnace that has one item inside and then the comparator reads it. And the only difference now is uh, if you activate something, it stays active and then you can uh, activate something else. Let's try to bring the signal here. And now let's use a critic pulse in there. And now we have two lines active and I can deactivate any of those using uh, input from a single place. So yeah, basically this is a pulse length decoder 
uh, yeah, that can be useful to you or not. It's it's hard to present components sometimes because people don't know what to do with components without an application. But I assure you, uh, in one of my next videos, you guys will see a uh, fairly interesting application of this. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, I, don't, I don't think you need a tutorial for this, uh, but I, I will show you how to build it anyways. I almost forgot to do this. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, uh, you, need, you need something to be to act as an updater here. Could be a trapdoor. Depends on your system. Maybe your system is not capable of uh, detecting updates from, uh, from observers because this is an inconsistent game. So yeah, you just have to place a few components in there. You don't have to extend it all the way to 15. By the way, there are ways to make this infinitely expandable, but I'll not discuss this in this video because the point is to be uh, to go in with, sim with simplicity. Okay, and now we place our sticky piston in here and just place a redstone line in here. The one bit that is important uh, to remember is to place one extra bit of redstone dust right there so that uh, it won't activate when the piston when the piston extends only when the piston retracts because this depends uh, on the specific behavior uh, of pistons retracting instantly uh, so we only we only care about the retraction not about the extension or anything like that okay and that is already it <laughs> that's all you need uh, let me place let me place some lamps in here just to demonstrate how it works uh, and uh, let's pick a nice pulse terrific pulse there you go third lamp fourth lamp second lamp and for the first one, you need to give it two tick, two one tick pulses, and yeah, first one. So very easy to build, and good luck, guys. And thank you very much for watching this video. Hope to see you guys soon. Goodbye.